my time is very valuable to myself. So if I'm to give it to other people, then I have to value that as well. Uh, okay, uh, with me today on Candid Conversations is Chris Gethin. Now, Chris Gethin is a monster of a man. Why is it that I'm calling him that? Because he has been training Hrithik Roshan for the last uh, 11 to 12 years. As far as I remember, the first time I heard about Chris was back in around 2013, 2014, when uh, Chris 3 had released and we came to know that uh, the, uh, the man behind Hrithik's Crazy body is the way I'll have to describe it was Chris. So, Chris, welcome to the show. And um, um, to, you're, you're, you're really looking big in the in the video. Did you, was it your chest day today? Did you bench press? I don't know how many hundreds of cases. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know how much I bench. I've never tried to. I always say it doesn't matter how much you bench. It matters how much you look like you bench. Interesting. Interesting. So, you know, I mean, I'm going to jump right in and ask you, what is it really like, you know, training... Uh, somebody like Hrithik Roshan and you can you can probably talk about right now when you're training him for fighter or you could talk about before uh, I believe it was in 2011 when Hrithik came to you and you started training him yes that's right 20, 2011 and this time round has been very very different over the past 10 years Riddick has had so many injuries you know you definitely can't count them on both hands and, uh, you know, that's, that's become a very, very complicated. And last time when we did transform, he didn't have work commitments. This time he's got a lot of work commitments. And, um, you know, there's a lot of stress that's involved. And what I'm trying to do is mitigate the damage of the stress to optimize his recovery so mm. we can optimize the workouts. You know, with the recovery, you do not have the workouts optimized. So that's been quite the challenge at the moment. But, you know, he's about to release a movie. So uh, it's all hands on deck at the moment. Right, right. And, you know, uh, again, circling back to 2011, uh, from, again, from whatever I remember, that time he was uh, on bed rest, he had a double slip disc, and he had a 36 and a half inch waist, which is yeah. approximately the size of my waist. But, like, how did you get him back into shape? And, you know, what was the uh, entire process like? Yeah, there was a lot of suffering involved uh, and sacrifices. But in order to achieve the success, you have to make a lot of sacrifices. So the main thing was, you know, we made sure that he was eating six clean meals mm. per day. And when I say clean meals, you know, there was protein within them. You know, they're poultry, fish, egg whites, protein powder, along with some form of carbohydrates being rice, quinoa, oats, potatoes along with a lot of fibrous carbs and some healthy fats in there, like nuts, seeds, avocado, um, olive oil, full, you know, egg yolks, things like that, six times a day, but little and often. And then we would train uh, about five days a week, weight train, that is, uh, with resistance training for about 45 to 60 minutes. And then we do some form of cardio every single day, much like what we're doing right now. Um, you know, uh, that could be going outside onto the beach for a run, doing agility work, um, a lot of uh, body weight work, or it could be just on a Stairmaster, on a treadmill, on a rower. Some, but it was just mainly the consistency and making sure that he was in bed at a timely manner to keep the stress levels down as well. Meditating, grounding, earthing, getting sunlight on a daily basis. So try to take a, a, a holistic view to the transformations as well. The more healthier a person can be, the more responsive they are to a transformation. Doesn't matter if somebody kind of looks okay. If they're not healthy, they're not going to transform. It's, you know, it's much like an engine. You've got to make sure that it's highly tuned at all times. Right, right. And, you know, I mean, I, I read somewhere you lay a lot of importance on uh, sleeping in time, getting up in time. Yes. Yeah, there has to be a routine. Your body adjusts after a while. It's very smart. It knows when to burn. It knows when to recover. It knows when to perform. And the more that you can have consistency with that, the better. So we try to train at the same time uh, every day. However, like today, we haven't trained yet. We usually train at 8 o'clock in the morning. We did cardio this morning, but he still hasn't trained. And we should be training about 5 o'clock this afternoon. So things happen. Uh, but the main thing is getting to bed early. When we stay up later after dusk, our cortisol levels remain high. 
when we should be bringing our cortisol levels down so we can release melatonin. But now we're exposed to artificial blue lights and screens and, you know, TVs and, uh, you know, going out at a stupid o'clock. So our cortisol levels rate stay higher, much higher than our ancestors did. So we need to kind of combine some of today's technology and biohacks with a lot of our ancestral wisdom. And that is adhering to our circadian rhythm and going to bed a lot earlier to keep our cortisol levels at bay. Cortisol levels can go up during the workout, but the rest of the time it should be down. So acute levels are healthy. It's called homesis or hormetic response, but uh, systemic levels are very, very unhealthy and can lead to heart disease and other complications. Sleeping late could also, I mean, bad timings could also lead to sort of heart disease. It can do, yeah. A lot of people think it's really cool to burn the candle at both ends and yeah. have very little sleep and still dominate their work day. Um, you know, kind of like the Gary Vaynerchuk way of thinking, which is not a good way. You know, not everybody's like Gary V, and that's his purpose in life. I think our purpose should be our longevity and our health span. Right, right. Okay. You know, I, I saw something very interesting on your website. I went to your website yesterday and I was scrolling through this particular section called the Frequently Asked Questions. And uh, very, I must say that unlike other websites, unlike uh, other personalities, a very frank uh, FAQ section because there was one question over there called, is this free? So you... Is this free? Is this free? So, I mean, oh, right. uh, okay. the question over there, apparently, which you get asked a lot, is the training which I'm going to get under this ethane for free? And you actually answered over there that, no, this is a guy who does this for, uh, who does this professionally. And obviously, it's not going to be for free. That's correct. Yeah, you know, I went, I studied in college for three years full time. I had to hold down three jobs while I went to college to study in the mid 90s. And I've been studying ever since my craft, you know, you know, I continue to educate myself, uh, whether it be for performance, health span, biohacking, anti-aging, uh, blood work, uh, allergens, food allergies, mold toxins, absolutely everything. I try to continue to do the best that I can, not only for my clients, but for myself. I'll use myself as a, a big like I am with blood glucose testing at the moment here in India. So, uh, you know, my, my time is very valuable to myself. So if I'm to give it to other people, then I have to value that as well. The time that I'm not having for myself, for reading, to meditate, to exercise, to go on adventure, enjoy my wife or anything like that, it's going to cost. It's going to cost money. But the one thing that I do guarantee is results if people do what I say. Some people are students of learning. They know what to do but very few are students of application. And if they apply my principles, then they'll get the results they invested in. Right, right. Uh, you sort of remind me of, uh, you know, the very Terminator-like thing, which sort of reminds me, you've met Arnold Schwarzenegger, haven't you? Many times, many times. Many times. Uh, wow, I mean, how many people can actually say that? How, how is it like meeting Arnold? Oh, Arnold's great. You know, he's a, he's a phenomenal person. You know, the last time, I saw him was probably about, I don't know, a year, year and a half ago. And, uh, you know, he was commenting on how awesome my dog was at the time. Because uh, we both, he's got a place in Idaho where I am where I live at the moment. So there's a place called Sun Valley where I go quite often in the summer for mountain biking or snowboarding in the winter. And he's got a property there. So I often bump into him there. And he's uh, just always been very nice, very courteous to me. Lucky, lucky you. Um, now, you know, when when exactly you got your own chain of gyms, right? Own chain of gymnasiums called uh, uh, Chris Gethin Gym. So when did that start off? And uh, for how long has that been around? And how many sort of, how many centers, how many outlets do you have? I think we've got about 10 centers now. Uh, nine or 10 because we've just signed a couple. And uh, they've been going for the past seven years. We've had them. We launched them in 2015. So, uh, you know, we uh, over the pandemic, unfortunately, there was a lot of gyms that were closing down because I don't see other gyms as being efficient. I see we're all together. We're fighting food. We're fighting Netflix and the couch. You know, that's what we're fighting in activity all together. So, unfortunately, several 
gym franchises closed down. But thankfully, we actually um, signed contracts to open more gyms during the pandemic. And I think that's because we've really focused on not like a quantity of gyms, but the quality. And myself and my business partner, Jag Chima, we consider them academies where we have ongoing education. Okay, good, good going, good going. Um, anyways, I'm just looking, uh, my eyes are uh, constantly going at the clock and apparently I think you've got a training session with Ritik come up. So I don't want to be the reason your training session gets delayed, but thank you so much for taking time to talk to us and uh, all the best for the future and definitely would uh, uh, looking forward to run into you sometime in Mumbai during your workouts or whatever. Cool. Thanks a lot, Chris. Thanks a lot. Take care. Thank you. My pleasure, Kabir. Have a good day.